everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to day eight of Cory Ray Fitment. I can't believe we're already on day eight. I feel like it's flown by. I'm also very tired because it's taken a lot out of me and I'm only doing 12 days. I don't know how some of y'all do every day of December. Like kudos to you because your girl is tired. While I am tired, I'm having such a fun time. This has been so much fun for me so far to post a video every day and just you know, interact with you guys a little bit more and just seeing all your guys' comments in my comments and stuff. It's just been a fun time. Not gonna lie, it is six o'clock and I'm having a nice coffee. But it's fine, you know? <laughs> it's fine. I'm a little delirious if you can't tell. Anyways, as you guys can tell by the title, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my winter night routine. I already did my winter morning routine, so if you haven't seen that, go definitely go check that out. I think it was like day two, three, five? I, I don't know. It's one of those days. Just go scroll through and you'll find it. Anyways, so I'm just going to share with you guys my typical night routine during a weekday. So, you know, I work Monday through Friday. Um, I work a nanny job and I also edit videos for people. I also do my own YouTube videos. I do TikTok videos. I, and I'm also an, a cheerleader in the NFL. So I'm a pretty busy person. And with saying that, my night routine is very important to me and very sacred to me. I do the same thing almost every single night just to make sure that I am recharging my battery. I'm a very introverted person and I do a lot of jobs that required me to be extroverted, which is great. But since I am pretty extroverted, when I come home, I like to spend time with Jack and sit at home and just recharge my battery, do my own thing, take a bath, just relax. And I also do a few things before bed to help me stay organized and on track with all of my goals that I have and just stay on track with YouTube and all of that stuff. I'm a strong believer in a solid morning and night routine. So I hope you guys get some tips from my night routine that you can start integrating into your night routine just so we can, you know, be the best version of ourselves and accomplish all of our goals and our dreams. And yeah, I'm rambling as you can tell. But I got I hope you guys enjoy today's video and I hope you get all the cozy vibes. Go ahead and grab yourself a hot drink like some hot cocoa or some coffee. Without any further ado, let us get into today's video. Hey friends, I am starving. Like I said, I got Viva Chicken for dinner, aka Bay. I swear I go here like three times a week, not even joking. It's just so good. And it's literally like right across the street from where I live. So, but what I get, I get the, ooh, who's texting me? I'm not popular. I get the Inca wrap. And basically it's just like a wrap with chicken, pulled chicken, avocado, white jasmine rice, pinto beans, onion, um, and then some other stuff. And then I get this yummy sauce, um, which brings me to a point. I get a lot of questions on my TikTok asking why I eat some things gluten and some things gluten free. I'm not completely, so I thought I would answer it right now in my video for those of you who are asking that. Um, I'm not fully gluten-free. I am primarily gluten-free, if that makes sense. So, like, when I go out to restaurants and stuff, and there's something like Viva Chicken is one of my favorite restaurants, I'm not gonna not get my favorite food, if that makes sense. I don't like to restrict myself. Um, I do try to be more 
most of the time gluten free though because I have psoriasis on my scalp and ex like eczema prone skin like I get it on my pinky, my eyelids, the corner of my mouth, and just like some other places on my body. And whenever I eat gluten, it triggers it and makes it flare up. Also dairy as well. Um, so yeah, all of that to say I am primarily gluten and dairy free. But I, if I go out to eat or like, you know, stuff like that, I will have it here and there. Or whenever I cook for myself at home, I am completely gluten free and dairy free. And so is Jack. He does it more for his gut. Yeah, so now I'm just going to enjoy my dinner and then go back into my office. <laughs> okay, my desk in my bedroom. And finish up the video that I was editing. And then I'm going to just relax and do more of my night routine. Because I really need to go to bed early tonight because I'm exhausted. I'll catch you guys whenever I do something else. in the bathtub I have a towel on I'm not naked so I'm about to get in the tub and wind down for the night and I just wanted to talk to you guys while I was taking my makeup off I'm sorry the lighting in here is terrible but I'm exhausted and I don't feel like moving my ring light right now but anyways I just wanted to tell you guys or talk to you guys a little bit about self-care and all of that ish since we're doing a night routine. I am a very busy person as I'm sure a bunch of you are as well. Um, so I think I just wanted to kind of hop on here and talk about that a little bit. Um, I can get to where I am super busy, go, go, go all the time, have a million things to do and then I'll get home from work because since I am kind of like more of an ambitious person, I have lots of things that I do. Um, when I get off of work, I come home and edit or do one of my other little side jobs that I have or just whatever. And then I or I'll like come home and practice my dances or whatever. And I kind of put like self care and taking time for myself like on the back burner sometimes. I'm not super great at balancing all of that stuff. And then all of a sudden I'll just have like a breakdown one day because I'm super overwhelmed and I'm kind of burnt out almost. Oh, this mascara. Yeah, so I can just like get really burnt out really quickly sometimes. I know that's like probably normal for people who are super busy all the time, like me. <laughs> but I just wanted to use this, since I'm actually doing some self-care right now, as a reminder for you guys. Just remember to always take a little bit of time out of your day to take care of yourself and do practice some sort of self-care. I know some days you can't always do it just because it's not realistic, but I think it's just important to maybe like take a bath or, you know, do a little extra step in your skincare routine or read a book or sometimes self-care obviously isn't just, 
you know, doing a face mask and all that stuff. Sometimes it means just like saying no to something that is stressing you out or just won't really serve you. Like you're stressing out about it too much. Sometimes you can just say no to something, to a project or hanging out with somebody if you just really don't feel up to it. I think that's totally fine. Maybe self-care for you is hanging out with your friends. Maybe you're a very outgoing person and you recharge by being around other people. You know, you can't, you can't give to other people or give to your job or your career or your dreams with 100% if you aren't feeling 100% yourself and you're not giving 100% to yourself as well. So, yeah. <laughs> I've been super, you know, busy lately with my 12 days of Cory Ray Fitness, so I haven't been sleeping super great and or like just getting enough sleep because I've been going to bed pretty late and you know I'm still working and I um and I have cheerleading and all that stuff so I kind of like wanted to say that too as a reminder for myself so yeah and another thing that I like to do too is clean <laughs> I love to clean my apartment at night every single night like do the dishes vacuum all that every night because it just makes me feel better and I love when my environment feels clean and put together and like whenever things are all over the place I get so stressed out so I'm gonna take my bath now because I am exhausted my eyes are like so squinty right now because I'm just so tired and I need to go to bed so I'm gonna take a bath and just chill on my phone for a little bit maybe read probably not because I'll fall asleep if I read a book right now but yeah that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna All right, so that does bring us to the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys got some inspiration or this video just made you feel better in general. I know that the holiday season this year is a little different due to everything going on in the world. So that is the whole point of why I wanted to do Corey Ray Fitness is just to bring some more joy into the world and on the internet so it's not just so negative. Please consider subscribing to my channel if you aren't already because it really means a lot to me. Give this video a thumbs up up and turn on your notification bell so you can stay tuned when I post my new video every single day for the 12 days of Cory Ray Fitness. But I love you guys so much. Thank you again for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow.